What is going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Emmanuel. This is Avalon Outdoors. Got my buddy Ivan with me. We're in the Florida Keys today. Last Saturday, blue line towel season open, grouper season open. We're out here, we're gonna do some deep chopping, some fishing. We're fishing for whatever bites. We have about a 17 mile run. Let's see if we can get there. Check it out guys, look at all the little ammo coals, all the little triggers. They're gonna eat the bear, <laughs> we just found this floater out here. It holds a ton of fish. It looks like it's actually a net. I don't know what exactly is going on with that. Got him. Got him. <laughs> there we go guys, ammo coal jack. We'll use them for bait, no problem. <laughs> Dude, they're so funny, bro. You got them. Got them. <laughs> <laughs> there we go guys all right we're gonna get a couple more of these and then we're gonna keep heading out deep <laughs> dude i can't believe they're eating a bear hook man another one. Oh my gosh guys you said you're allowed 100 pounds and they're eating a circle hook that's ridiculous man listen guys bro he smoked it on the drop <laughs> Hold fire, Almaco. Hold fire, Almaco. Look, guys, so all I know is the day just started and we didn't get skunked. I promise if we catch nothing, we'll eat Almaco Jack tonight. Hold fire, hold fire. Look at that, guys. They're just swimming right under the ski. So pretty. And this guy thinks he's going to free gaff one. Bro, bro, bro. You're going to put a hole in the ski. All right, guys, we are finally out here, 17 miles offshore. Getting ready to get down on a drop. Ivan's back there getting ready. We're gonna see what happens. We're targeting blue line tilefish, snowy grouper, and yellow edge grouper. All we're using is a three hook rig, four pound lead, and some squid. We'll see what happens. Beautiful day out. Free school? Yep. We're fishing. We are fishing. Let's go! All right, guys, we're down on a drop, 612 feet. A mix of mud and hard bottom. There goes bottom. Dude, no way. We're tight, guys. We're tight! <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna be greedy. All right, guys, so basically what happened here is the second I hit the bottom. We're automatically tight on a fish, first drop of the morning. I've been sending it back down to the bottom, see if we could double up, possibly triple up, maybe quadruple up. Obviously the fish, the spot has fish, so everything's all good. Oh my gosh, man. Turn the whole speed. No, don't tell me he pulled. Nope. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. All right, guys, we got him coming up 150 meters. We'll see what's on there. There it is. What is that? Blue line. It is a blue line. No, it's a baby yellow edge. Are you yeah, it's a baby yellow edge. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh my go. god! No way! <laughs> no way! Bro, that hook is in there good, Buddy's man. Hyped about a three pound yellow edge. Bro, listen, guys. Pounds. 
This this is the first legal grouper to ever come home on the ski. There we go, guys. Yellow edge grouper. Look at the colors on them. Absolutely incredible not fish. fish. Not at all. It's pretty, man. Nice little eater right there. And the day has only just begun. Look at all that slime dripping off of them. Already. Wow, man. Cheers. Beautiful. Yellow edge grouper. Look at that. Absolutely Listen, beautiful it fish. It might be small, but I promise you relax in size. I'll make up for in taste. Let's go in the box. <laughs> Look at that thing, man. What the fish? There they are. Yep. There we go. Got him on, baby. Got him on, baby. I got it, Mark. All right, guys, that might be the blue line towel fish we're looking for. Hopefully, on the first two drops. What are the first two fish we're looking for? First two fish we're looking for. Yellow edge grouper, blue line towel fish. Out here getting groceries. Just getting groceries. groceries. There he goes. Is that a bro? Oh my gosh. And there we go, guys. Blue line towel fish. You see us catching golden towel fish. This is called a blue line towel fish, also known as a gray towel fish. Absolutely beautiful fish and even better eating. I'm gonna go ahead and throw them in the box. Look at that. Beautiful. I don't think it's a grouper then. It's another blue line. There we go, there we go. Dude, I will not complain, complain about, that. about that at all. Not a terrible one, not a great one. <laughs> there we go, guys. Another blue line towel fish. Not a big one, a couple pounder. So it drops off and it's coming back up now. Yeah. Make sure on the bottom, Ivan. Make sure on the bottom. Coming right back up now. Bro, the drop off is ridiculous, man. We're tied again. Cross our fingers, it stays on there. And we'll see what it is when it comes up. Fighting good. Fighting nice. 800 feet of water, fishing a nice little drop off here. Went from six, dropped down to eight, now we're back down to six. All right, guys, we got him coming up last five meters, keeping our fingers crossed. Just be something that we can keep, that's all I ask. These fish pull hooks at all times. It's light. It's another. It's we another. got two. What is that? Dude, Bro, what is that? That's a Toro. That's yep. a Toro. Yep. <laughs> awesome, man. It's a blue line and a Toro. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. That's cool. Whoa, look at the eyes, dude. Yeah, that's a crazy looking fish. There we go, guys. Beautiful blue line towel fish. And then we have a Toro. I'm not even sure if it's a Toro snapper. I just, it's it's called a Toro. There it goes. Look at that thing's eyes, man. They look like holographic. Look at its stomach and everything, man. Two more for the box. Two more for the box. Picking away at him. Picking away at him. All right, guys. So we have a one-man limit of blue line towel fish. Three of them. One yellow edge grouper and a Toro snapper. I believe it's a Toro snapper. I'm not sure if it is a snapper or not, but it's called a Toro. Now we're gonna make a move, go a little shallower, and we'll see what happens when we get there. The day's going great so far. Absolutely beautiful day out. Yep. Yeah! That's a, good one too. <laughs> That's a nicer fish. So we're fishing a drop off in 800 feet. And it's treating us well so far. All right, guys, you've seen us catch blue line towel fish, yellow edge grouper, toro snapper. What do you think this is? 
Leave in the comments right now what you think this fish is. 66 meters out. Oh, yeah. Whoa! Come on, give me deep color, deep color. Oh my god, it's a queen. No. It's a queen! Oh my god! Don't cast it, dude. Come on. Just get it in the boat. Same guy says don't gaff it, just get it in the boat. Look what happens, the hook slips off. We caught a queen! Oh my god! Oh, -hoo! oh -hoo! my god, we got a queen! <laughs> oh my bro, we got the queen. Bro. Dude, we got him. Bro, oh, listen, guys. You saw me get super excited and want to gaff this fish. Listen, I don't care. Listen, that's the second snapper I've said we're good. Try to flip it in, and it came off. And it came off. So he needed to get gaffed, guys. Cheers to the freaking weekend, man. <laughs> guys, there we go, queen snapper. We were not expecting this one, but we are so happy to have this one on the jet ski, guys. That is absolutely epic. insane fish right there. Dude, wow, that's our first clean ever. Ever, bro. On a look jet at that, ski, guys. Dude. Guys, look at that fish right there, man. Absolutely insane clean snapper, man. We've been after this one for a while. Finally got him. Absolutely ridiculous, man. Uh, what a box. Right there, 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 right there. They're gonna eat it. Got him. Yes. Dolphin on, guys. Oh my god, what a bag we have going. I hope he's legal. That's a legal fish. We're gonna find out. That's a legal fish. I got the gaff. I got the gaff. I don't know that he's legal. That's a legal fish, dude. That's 20 to the fork all day. Look at, we got another one right there. Oh my God, there's a school of them. All right, bro, let's let me know which side you want it on and I'll stick them. Here, I got this. Uh, you gonna flip them in? Yeah. Bro, there's a school of them, bro. I know, we don't have much bait either. No! Gosh, dude. All right, guys, we had some dolphins swim right up to the boat, pitch a squid at them. We weren't sure if it was a legal dolphin, so we tried to flip them in, didn't gaff them. Came off right at the boat, watched them swim away. Definitely stings, but we got plenty of fish in the box. It happens. All right, guys. We're gonna go ahead and end it there running. <laughs> Why did the day have to end on that note, man? Wow, bro. That hurts for sure. We have about a 17 mile run that way. All right, guys, we are back home. Yellow Edge Grouper, Queen Snapper, Big Eye Toro, and a bunch of blue line towel fish. Look at that. Time to clean them up. Take your knife, run it up into the fish's head. Then you're just gonna outline your fish. Your skin is tough. This is the first grouper I've ever filleted. We're gonna quickly flip over our fish. Just outline the fish again. Push your knife through.
back over. I'm gonna knock this side off. Just lift up, cut away, take your time. Cut down over the backbone. Look at that meat. Oh, they're so slimy. Cut over that rib cage. That's what you're left with. Beautiful filet, yellow edge grouper. What a fish, guys. Dude, can you imagine diving? And seeing that down there. <laughs> Alright guys, time to clean them up. Alright, same as every other fish. Down here. Wow, they're slimy. Right behind. Peck them. Go down. Outline them. All the way to the tail. My god. I can't wait to see how the meat looks. It's gonna be white. Same thing on the other side. Outline them to the top. Dude, wow, they are so pretty. It's ridiculous. And their scales are real big. Yeah, imagine a big one. Look at that. Filet of queen fish. snapper. Wow, man. That's some pretty meat. For sure. Wow, dude. All right, guys. Now we have here what we believe to be a big eye toro. We've searched and searched, and after a while, we think this is a big eye toro. There's a lot of fish that look very similar, so we're not 100% sure, but they're a very tough, weird looking fish. I'm gonna take our knife. Run it up into the head. Cut down into the stomach. Then you're just gonna take your knife and outline your fish. It looks like their meat is white. Yeah, it's supposed to be snow white. It is? Yeah. We're gonna take our knife. Wow. Looks great, man. It looks like tilapia, honestly. Look at that. Tiny fillets, cause it's a pretty small fish, but look at the color of it. It actually reminds me of Rosie. <laughs> look at that thing. Weird looking fish, man. All right, guys, so we're gonna clean up the rest of these fish and then we'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, guys, we are back in the kitchen now. We have all of our fillets here. We have queen snapper, yellow edge grouper, and some blue line towel fish. As you guys can see, they look pretty much exactly the same. I will say the queen snapper is much more firm than every other fish. It does have a way darker bloodline than every other fish, but I did cut out a lot of the bloodline. But for the most part, these are all very, very good eating fish. So now we're gonna make something. It's Mother's Day, I got my mom back there. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and cook some dinner. All right guys, we got our pot going. Got some salted sweet cream butter. I'm gonna go ahead and get that in there. And right behind our butter, we're gonna go ahead and add in some onions. We just want our onions to caramelize, get on nice and brown. All right, guys, we got our onions coming together. Also got some tomato here that I chopped up. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there. And then let all of this come together. The tomato made this real thick, nice and juicy. Next, guys, we have some garlic I chopped up as well. I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there. Get that all in there, let it mix together. And yeah, as you guys can see, everything's just coming together. Look at that. 
All right, guys, and last but not least for vegetables, we have some parsley. We'll go ahead and add that in there. Just a pot of flavor. All right, guys, we got all of this coming together and it smells absolutely delicious. Look at that. Next, we're just gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of salt in there. Mix that all together. Then we have some heavy whipping cream, which is gonna be the base for our sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in there. All right, guys, so we got our heat on high. We got our heavy whipping, whipping cream in there. It's just gonna reduce and make us a nice, creamy, thick sauce. And it looks absolutely delicious and smells delicious so far. All right, guys, and then in it some black pepper. Get that all mixed in. All right, guys, now we have our sauce coming to a boil. Gonna turn it down a little bit. Then we're gonna go in with our fish. First piece right here, our queen snapper. And what's gonna happen here? Like the sauce is gonna cook our fish for us. Look at that. All right guys, so our fish is cooked just about halfway. It's gonna come right in here and flip it just like that. And this should be done in no time. All right guys, we have some rice and peas here that my mom made earlier. Get in a nice little presentation there, look at that. All right guys, I'm not even sure which piece of fish this is, but there we go. Getting our fish in these plates. Look at that. And there we have it guys, our final product. Now it's time to taste it. All right guys, one thing left to do, try our food. I can tell right now this is a snowy grouper. I don't know what that is or what that is, but we're gonna see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. That sauce mm -hmm. is great. That sauce is real good. It's like you're eating at a hotel. That sauce is good. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh, this is a different fish? All three of them are different fish. You wanna try this one? I don't even know what that is. All right, guys. It was a success. It tastes great. I mean, the rice presentation is just a killer. Whatever. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and finish off our dinner. It is Mother's Day, so we're gonna go ahead and enjoy some family time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you leave a like, a comment, a subscribe. Make sure you guys check out my jet ski deep dropping playlist. I have a bunch of videos doing deep dropping off the jet ski. Thanks for watching. Happy Mother's Day, guys. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.